Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making Czech egg salad. Um, often it's put on top of uh, little sliced pieces of a French bread, baguette type bread and made into chlebičky, little open-faced sandwiches. I like to prep all my ingredients to begin with. So I have a dozen egg yolks mixed with, um, I broke them down with a fork and I mixed them with salt and pepper. Um, I have the egg whites. Obviously these eggs have been hard boiled. Um, some people use onions, some people like to use Polish pickles. I like to use both and I chop them quite thin. That's one pickle and one very small onion. I have about a little over a half a cup of mayonnaise and about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And my secret ingredient, I have a half a cup of butter um, set to room temperature. So what I like to do is I like to break down the egg yolks and add the butter. And then I like to use a mixer to mix that and cream it. So I'll do that now. The, um, the butter today isn't, isn't quite as warm as I'd like it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next step. Um, after this is creamed together, or at least somewhat creamed, then you can add the um, mayonnaise and the mustard. And that gives this, the whipping gives it a little bit of a creamier consistency than when you mix it by hand. Now you can tell at this point if it's going to be really creamy or if it's going to be a little bit lumpy. This, as you can see, is a tad on the thicker side, but I don't want to over mayonnaise it. So I like it like this. Uh, somebody else may probably wish to add maybe another quarter cup of mayonnaise and that makes it much more lighter and creamier, but you're also looking at all of the fat content. So I'm gonna give it one last whip. And then I'm going to add in the um, onions and the pickles, or pickle rather, and mix that in. You can also add some pickle juice that will lighten it up a bit as well. And then for the last step, I take a grater on the biggest grate and I just start grating the egg whites into it. As you can see, um, some people chop them. I like it done a little bit more delicate. So I do it this way, as you can see. And you know, when you're cooking, nothing has to be a thousand percent perfect. If there's some bigger chunks, you know, it's organic, it's handcrafted, made by you, made with love. I have so many people, you know, I don't have that size grater or, you know, mine was too chunky. Well, cut it smaller next time or, you know, it's too fine for me. I want it to be thicker. Well, then use a knife and just do a rough chop. You know, nothing is set in stone. I will say that the butter trick is something that I learned when I first went to visit um, Czechoslovakia or after, I know, I guess this was in 1986. It was still um, Czechoslovakia at that time. And we went to our friend Pavel and Viera Miller's and Viera made the most delicious egg salad. And I saw the mayonnaise and the mustard on the counter and I thought maybe this Czech mayo and Czech mustard tastes a lot better than ours. But then I saw her put in something else when she was making it. And I said, oh my gosh, Viera, what is this? Your, your um, egg salad is so creamy. And she told me, she said, oh, it is um, some butter, warmed butter. And so since then, since 1986, I'm dating myself here, 
Since 1986, I have been making it with just a tad of butter in there too. Um, when chicks make klebichke, oftentimes they'll use butter as a base, whether they put the egg salad or the potato salad on top of it. I find that it's easier to go ahead and put the butter into the egg salad. Again, I think it makes it a bit creamier and I like the flavor. We're almost done grating here. And as you can see, I've got some big chunks. I'm not gonna worry about it. That'll just be in one bite. <laughs> Someone will get a bigger piece of egg. Not a big deal. Um, anyway, this is good on a baguette. I slice it on the diagonal, kind of, to make the um, pieces not, not round, but more of an oval shape. And yeah, that's klebichke with Vajíčková pomazánka, which is um, egg salad, basically. It's an egg spread, is what it translates to, but it's egg salad. So you can see the consistency. You just give it a mix. This lasts for a couple of days in the fridge. I usually do it with a whole dozen of eggs because we go through it pretty quick, and if there's not time, if I'm busy writing or translating, creating posts, this is a really quick protein filled snack. Um, I have made it with plain yogurt before, trying to make a healthier version, and it ends up getting like watery. Um, yogurt turns into water when it starts mixing, so the mayonnaise does make a nicer consistency. But here it is, Czech egg salad. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.